Let's connect the Netgear EAX15 using your smartphone. Uh, to do this, you need to install the application by Netgear. It's Netgear Nighthawk Wi-Fi Router. So install this application. Um, by the way, you need to be sure that your router is broadcasting Wi-Fi and connected to the internet. Otherwise, you will fail this operation. Uh, okay, let's open the application. Agree to the terms and conditions. I agree. Um, notifications, maybe later. Uh, allow connect using location services. Okay, this is useful. Uh, allow location permission. Uh, if you don't have an Netgear account, you need to create one. I already have the account, so let me just log in. Touch ID, maybe later. Two-step verification, maybe later. Now let's just connect Wi-Fi. Uh, okay, uh, let's set up your Nighthawk. Okay, go to dashboard. New system setup. Uh, here select range extender and place your extender halfway between your router and an, an area with a poor Wi-Fi signal. Let me do it later. Now let's, ju let's just establish connection. Uh, tap on next. Tap on next once again, plugin extender, it's plugged in. Uh, you need to be sure that uh, the power indicator glows solid green light, not amber, not off, it must be green. Uh, then you need to join Nighthawk network. So open your Wi-Fi settings and go to Wi-Fi network list and connect to this network, which is named Netgear EXT. connected and let's go back to the application connecting to extender uh, you can control it using this uh, LED signal when this signal third from the top is green it means the device external device is connected to the extender uh, now personalize your settings and the only button here is next so tap on this choose country or region I'm in Europe now so suggest me only Europe. Now let's connect your extender to your router. Okay, let's step on next. Scanning for existing net networks. Uh, let's select the network we wish to extend. My router's name is my Wi-Fi, so let's select 2.4 gigahertz network and 5 gigahertz network and then I have to enter my uh, network passwords so my current Wi-Fi password uh, if you use different passwords for 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz network just uncheck this box and then you will be able to enter different passwords here but I have the same password. So now scanning for something else, something under the hood. Need to wait for some more time. Passwords verified, connecting to my Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz. Wait for connection. So uh, uh, there is an interesting issue with this um, extender. Uh, the matter is that it doesn't create the separate network for extender, it uh, creates one mesh network. So um, you will use the same name and the same password for your router and for your extender. It means your device will try to connect to the, to the uh, access point with the better signal. 
And now I think it will choose my rotor and fail to connect to extender because it's too close to the rotor. Uh, in this case, or in any other reason, if, if you see this message, join Nighthawk network, so it, it means it, it, it's failed, uh, tap on continue, uh, tap on copy password, just in case you will need it, go to your Wi-Fi settings, and try to uh, choose 2.4 gigahertz network first. Once you see the connected uh, status, go back to the application and wait for a while more. Wait. Yes, it works. Uh, it's connected and then tap on next. Uh, here you need to create the device password to access uh, the extender settings. The password must be from 10 to 32 characters and contains one uppercase and one lowercase letter at least. So let it be administrator or administration, <laughs> never mind, that's okay. Uh, let's step on next, later, touch, touch ID. Later, uh, this is security question in case if you're uh, forget, forget your password, you can answer these que questions and uh, restore, uh, reset your password. In what city? So I'll just input letters here so far. Because anyway, I will reset this Netgear router extender, sorry. Uh, it's up and running. Let's step on next. Uh, that's it. You're all set. You're connected to the internet via uh, your uh, smartphone. The extender now broadcasts Wi-Fi and connected to uh, the internet. So uh, this is the signal for power. This is signal for router connection, for device connection, uh, and for secured Wi-Fi connection. From this application, you can. Uh, manage some settings, but to get full control, I recommend you to uh, log in into your device from your browser. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and bye, guys.